Hey guys, Thomas here with Technovision and welcome to the next episode of our complete Java tutorial guide. In this episode, we'll be creating your first Java program and it's gonna be printing to the console, hello world. Uh, it's like a super famous command for all people who are learning a new language or just to code in general. So let's just get started. We're, we're here in our main.java class that we created in the last episode and we need to create a main method. And it's okay if you don't understand, you know, what this means right now, because um, main methods are, we'll get to that in a little bit uh, later when we learn about methods in general, um, but we need it in order to actually start programming. So just follow along for right now. We need to type inside of our public class main, in between these two brackets here, we need to make a few spaces and in the middle here, type public space static uh, void main with a cap or uh, sorry a lowercase m not a capital m parentheses and string little brackets here space args and you know at the end of this little line that you've coded here you want to add a bracket so make a space and then add a curly brace and hit enter and it should automatically fill a brace down here and you can see what we've done here is we've created a method and uh, you know like i said we will go into methods in more detail later but all you need to, need to know for this specific episode is that this is a main method and you only want one of these at any time you know i said in the last episode that there's only ever one main class and uh, what that means is there's only ever one class that has this method right here and it should be called main again with a lowercase m and it must have string args inside of it. So we can sort of close this gap here. We want all of our code to be inside of the main method here. Otherwise it likely won't run. So uh, if you put any code out here for right now in this little space up here between the, the public class main and the public static void main, uh, then it probably won't run. It won't do anything. It'll just sit there. So don't do that for now. Let's go to the, the main method and uh, we're gonna create our first program. So in Java, you can do a simple command called system.out.print and this will print out anything that you want to the console. If you don't know what the console is, this is a little box down here called console. And uh, if you don't have it, it will pop up later on. So don't worry when we run the program, but this is gonna print any sort of uh, code that you tell the computer to print. So I want you to type system with a capital S, system, dot out dot and you're gonna see a bunch of these you know different options here from eclipse just ignore them for right now but we're gonna be typing dot print parentheses and inside those parentheses we want quotation marks and in order to end any line of code in uh, java you always want to add a semicolon at the end so this semicolon marks the end of this line of code here and we can save and inside of these quotation marks is essentially what will be printed out to our console. So you can read this like English. It's basically saying that this line of text will be printed out, printed out to the system. That's all it's really saying. So we can type whatever we want here. I'm going to type hello world with an exclamation mark. And if we save up here in the left corner and we run our code with this green run button up here, we can see that down in the console at the bottom part of Eclipse, it does in fact say hello world, so our program works correct. And you can change this to whatever you want really, it doesn't matter. So I can change this to Thomas is pretty cool. And if I save and run, you can see that it does actually print out to the console. So uh, it doesn't really matter what you put in here. All that matters is that the statement itself is um, is typed out correctly. So. I wanna show you some variations to sort of um, get you familiar with these print statements. So let's go back to hello world, right? So one of the difficulties with print is that it's often hard to get a new line uh, or start a new line of, of text. So I'll show you right now. Let's say that we copy this line here and we paste it below and we, t and we leave it at hello world, right? So. So we have hello world twice, right? Now you might think that this would print out and I'm gonna use a note to, to sort of show this to you guys. If you don't know, a note is just two slashes, um, two forward slashes and whatever you want, note. Uh, this is a line that isn't read by the computer. It's just a personal note for you. So using this note, I'm just gonna say that you would assume this would print out hello world and then hello world. It would, it would probably print this, right? But you know, when we save this, we save all and we run, we can see at the bottom that this is, an, is not the case. We actually have both hello world here and hello world here sort of mishmashed together in this weird sort of 
a one line of text that doesn't have any spaces. And that's because print doesn't automatically assign a new line. In order to do that, we actually need to type ln at the end of our print statement. So we can type system out.print ln. And what this will do is by typing ln at the end of print, it will add a new line at the end of your string of text. So it's gonna print hello world, create a new line, and then it's gonna type this. So we can see this if we save and run. And here we go, it said hello world. Uh, oh, I guess I forgot the, uh, the exclamation marks, but that's okay. It typed hello world, created a new line right here, and typed our new line of code. Now I'm going to show you a cool trick that you can use with print line. So if you actually make a uh, in between these two hello worlds here, right? Let's create another uh, system dot out dot print line, and we can fill it in. If we actually double click this button right here, or just click it once, I believe uh, it should auto fill. There we go. And uh, inside of this print line statement, we can add two uh, quotation marks. And if we actually leave this empty and have no text inside, what this line will do is act as essentially a, a space in between our, our two uh, sentences here, hello world and hello world too. So the reason this is, is because uh, again, print line, all it does is add a new line at the end of your text. So if you have no text there, all it's doing is creating a new line. And we can see this by uh, saving and running our, our code. And there we go, we have hello world, a whole line that is just a space, and then hello world again. So just a little trick you can use to sort of um, add a space in between if you want. But another way that you can do this, and I'll be showing you down here. So I'm actually gonna delete all of this for right now. Now let's try something else, another variation. So let's say you have a print, a system dot out, dot print statement, not print line, just print. And we'll add uh, some quotation marks. Make sure there's a semicolon at the end as always to end the, uh, the line of code. And in these quotation marks, let's type um, my name is and Thomas. So let's say that you wanna write my name is, but you want Thomas to be on a new line. So just so you guys know what I'm talking about, what I want this to print out to the console is my name is Thomas. I want it to look like this in the in the console. My name is, and then Thomas on a new line. Well, if we run our code right now by saving and running, you can see that we don't have this yet currently. It just says my name is Thomas, and that's because, like I said, we're using a print statement um, and there's no new lines involved. Well, what we can do is in between is and Thomas here, we can add a forward slash and the letter N. And what this does is it essentially creates a new line inside of this print statement and then continues on where it left off using the remaining text. So if we save and we run our code now, you can see below it is in fact working. It says my name is Thomas on a new line, just like we said here what we planned. So this works uh, you know, for any print statement. It, I believe it works with a print line statement, but I can double check print line run and it seems it does work for print lines as well so you can use it for print line or or print statements but uh that's super handy and you know we can try it again add a slash n here after my save run and there we go it says my new line name is new line thomas just like we set here with two new lines so that is great and I'm gonna get rid of those for right now. Another thing we can do is we can uh, create an indent. So, you know, in, in lots of articles and anything that you read online, stuff is usually indented. So if you're coding something that is gonna be readable or, that you, or you need some sort of indent for whatever reason, you can do the same thing that you did with slash N, but instead you can do T instead of N. So let's say we want my name is dot 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 and we wanna have a huge gap between dot 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 and Thomas. We can add uh, there doesn't have to be a space. You can just add slash forward slash T. And if we save and we run our code, uh, well, I guess I should plan this out. It should look like this. My name is dot, dot, dot. Uh, it should create one, two, three spaces and Thomas. And that's really what slash T is doing. It's indenting by three spaces. So if we create run here after saving, there we go. We can see my name is dot, dot, dot. One, two, three spaces and then Thomas. And this is great for, you know, we can get rid of this and put it in at the front. Oh, my bad. 
slash T. Uh, and if we save and run, you can see there that we have indented our text just like you would indent any sort of paragraph, for example. And because we got rid of the slash T here, right before Thomas, there is no space, no, no large gap anymore, no indent. So, uh, so yeah, so that's a great way to sort of um, uh, add indents into your text. So you can use slash N, uh, I'll just do it again real quick, slash N for new line and slash T for a indent or a space. And that's really all that there is to print statements. There's so many different variations that you can use with print and print line, slash n, slash t. Uh, so I've actually created, if you go to the description here, I've created a, a public Google doc that has exercises regarding um, all sorts of print statements and using them in code. So I encourage you to try all of them. I, some of them are simple, some of them are, are a little bit more advanced. And, uh, and yeah, share with us on Discord what you know some of your designs are. But yeah, once you've done that, I would encourage you to just play around with print statements, get comfortable with them because we're gonna be using them a ton in the upcoming tutorials. So, so yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot about print statements and Java and I will see you guys in the next episode.